Sure. Now it's time to talk eggs, more specifically naked eggs, with Jeff Stevenson from the Imagination Station. Explain, Jeff. Bail me out before I get in some trouble on this one. Well, I, I've got some uh, egg sighting experiments today. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty egg static about the whole situation. I so. see what you did there. Um, so what we're doing here is we are kind of doing something called the naked egg experiment. Okay. Which is a very cool effect in which we actually try to remove the shell from an ordinary raw egg without busting the egg. Okay. So I have um, some kind of maybe things you don't have at home every day. I have hydrochloric acid. This is about three molar solution right here. Okay. And so it's an acid and the, the, uh, we're going to try to dissolve the calcium away from the uh, shell. Is that essentially what the shell is? It's yes. pretty much calcium. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to pour our hydrochloric acid. We're wearing goggles and gloves and everything like that. Pour it right over top of our egg. And this is kind of a really, really quick reaction of what can happen to your egg if you had hydrochloric acid at home. And you can see um, it, it's bubbling. It's actually bubbling so much that the egg is floating, which is actually really interesting there. You can kind of see it rotating and things like that. As we let it sit throughout the whole segment, you'll see a foam start to accrue as it reacts with the calcium carbonate inside of the eggshell. And, okay. and we'll, we'll just dissolve it away. It's kind of like the acid-base reaction. That All right. Happens, right. Sure. But at home, you probably don't carry three molar hydrochloric acid, right? Probably, you probably, don't, probably shouldn't. Probably, probably don't have that in your like medicine cabinet or anything no. like that. So I have a really cool at home experiment you can do with just ordinary vinegar. Okay. Which is like an acidic acid. All right. Um, so what we're going to do is you're going to put it into a container and leave it in there for two days. So I kind of created a little timeline of what happens. So okay. this is what it'll look like at first. And you can pick these up and kind of feel them. So this one right here is going to be at day one then. Yeah. Yes. I, I, yeah, I did that and one. I can pick this up because this is just vinegar. Yeah go, yeah. go ahead and pick it up. It's regular vinegar. And, you know, it feels a little, it looks like an ordinary egg, but you can see that there's a foam on it, right? Like, it's starting to foam out. I did that one maybe last, last night. Okay. And then I did the other one yesterday morning. So if you go to the third one there, you can kind of see what happens uh, 12 more hours later. And then it looks kind of weird in the third one, right? Okay, go over one more. Yeah, if you look, if you look in the, this last one here, see, go ahead and pull that one out. And you can actually almost rub the shell off at this point. Have you ever had like a hard boiled egg and there's that thin film between the shell and the rest of the hard boiled egg? It always makes it so hard to peel. Yes, that is that film is all that's holding this egg together now. You've completely dissolved. Really? Yeah, you can actually like, you know, rub off the shell. And it's a really, really cool thing. You can do it at home. And what's really interesting is you know you're holding that one. Let me hold up a regular egg. Do you notice that there's like a it's bit of It's bigger. It's bigger. That's because the membrane is so thin, it allows for osmotic pressure to occur. Okay. So water from that vinegar, because it's not all acid, is being s drawn into that egg in order to balance out the difference between the materials in the egg and outside of the egg. Very cool. So you can imagine it's like that time of year for fifth grade science experiments. Right. You can see like, well, does this work with citric acid? Okay. So would it work with lemon juice? I, I don't know, right? I, I'd be a great thing to try at home. But what's really interesting is you can take these, these we call them naked eggs, and I, I got a couple of them if you want to try to bounce them around here. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're really kind of bouncy and they're, they're just like really fun to play with. I don't, I don't know why, but like they're really addicting. But you can actually take these and do your own separate science experiment, right? You could actually take these and start soaking them in different materials. So what, what I have here is I, I put one in corn syrup. So do you want to go ahead and pull that out? You're, you're going to get really messy. So, yep, yep, exactly. And I, and I put one in honey, which are very similar materials. Go ahead and describe to them the way it feels. Uh, it, it's very squishy. It's squishy. It's almost like an egg raisin, right? Yeah. And that's because there's these really, really large sugar molecules that are inside of the corn syrup and inside of the honey. And what that means is that the osmotic pressure wants to push water outside of the egg to fill in where those uh, sugar molecules are in the honey. And so it actually like almost dehydrates the egg is what okay. it seems like it's doing. I'm going to set this one down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just set it down. Just throw it down over there. And then, you know, if you really want to have like a lot of fun, you can put one in food coloring. Ooh. Yeah, there's like a blue one. Yeah, yeah. Here's, here's like a red one. Now, these are naked. These are not dyed shells. These right. are just the membranes. So what might be a fun experiment is... And has the yolk inside soaked up the color as well? Oh, that's a, that's a great question. Would you like to pop it open, Chris? Here, I'll give you a pencil. Sure. All right. So what we're going to try to do is try to pop it away from our clothing. Does that make sense? Uh, so I'm going to put it back here. Somewhat. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to try to... Okay, you ready? Oh, okay, Look. let's take a look at it. So it looks like the kind of white part of the egg definitely dyed blue. And that's like evidence that the osmotic pressure came in from the outside of the egg and moved into the inside. But you can see the yolk is actually still yellow. There's another membrane protecting the yolk in which for some reason the osmotic pressure didn't 
go with? I'm not, I'm not really sure what's going on there, why the yolk didn't turn blue, but we're getting some nice color mixing of the, of the blue and yellow. So lots of good at-home experience. You can probably imagine a million different things you have in your kitchen or anywhere around the house that you would want to maybe try to dissolve the shell with or maybe try to take the naked egg and do different things. But And it's all egg stream science. Yes, because uh, it's kind of spring break, and the egg is like the symbol of spring. Okay. Right? So um, we're actually closed Easter Sunday, but open Monday. Okay. Yeah. We could catch you then, spring break Exactly. Style. All right, Jeff, thank you so much. Appreciate that. More of your day coming up in just a moment.